Top 3 Minerals Every Arthritis Sufferer Needs to Know Natural Pain and Inflammation Relief If you've been battling stiff, aching joints, or struggling with the kind of inflammation that just won't let up, this video is for you. Today we're diving into three powerful minerals your body craves, especially if you're living with arthritis. These aren't just random supplements. They're natural, research-backed tools that can help reduce pain, calm inflammation, and give you back more comfort and control over your day. And the best part? These minerals are simple, accessible, and can be added to your daily routine starting today. So grab a cozy seat, maybe a warm cup of tea, and let's walk through this together. Because relief might be closer than you think, and you deserve to feel so much better. Let's jump in. Number 1. Magnesium, the anti-stress, anti-inflammatory mineral. Okay, let's talk about magnesium. Not the flashiest mineral in the world, but trust me, it's a quiet hero when it comes to fighting arthritis pain and inflammation. If you're dealing with arthritis, whether it's osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, or just ongoing joint stiffness, your body is in a constant battle with inflammation. That's where magnesium steps in like a calm, collected warrior. You see, magnesium works at a cellular level to reduce inflammation in your body. It helps regulate your immune system so it doesn't go into overdrive, which is one of the biggest problems in arthritis. And here's the kicker. Most people, especially those over 40, are deficient in magnesium and don't even know it. So that joint pain you're feeling, it could be made worse simply because your body is running low on this powerful mineral. Now, I want you to imagine this. Picture your joints surrounded by tension, tight muscles, stress signals firing, inflammation building up. Magnesium comes in and starts relaxing those tight muscles, calming the nerves and lowering those stress hormones that fuel the fire. It's like a warm bath for your joints from the inside out. But it's not just about joints. Magnesium is also a natural stress reliever. And stress? It's a major trigger for arthritis flare-ups. You know how your pain gets worse when you're anxious or run down? That's not in your head. It's real. Your body responds to emotional stress with physical inflammation. Magnesium helps interrupt that cycle by calming the nervous system and keeping your body in a state of balance. Now, I know what you're thinking. That sounds great, but how do I actually get more magnesium? Let's keep it simple. You've got two options, food and supplements. For food, leafy greens are your best friend. Spinach, Swiss chard, kale. These are loaded with magnesium. Avocados? Yes, please. Almonds, pumpkin seeds, even dark chocolate. These are all tasty ways to boost your intake naturally. But if you're dealing with chronic joint pain or stiffness, food alone may not cut it. That's where a magnesium supplement can help bridge the gap. Look for magnesium glycinate or magnesium citrate. These forms are gentle on the stomach and absorb well. Avoid the cheap stuff like magnesium oxide. It's harder to absorb and often just causes, well, let's just say you'll be visiting the bathroom a lot. Now here's something really interesting. Some people notice better sleep just a few days after adding magnesium. And better sleep means better healing, less inflammation, and fewer flare-ups. It's a domino effect in the best possible way. And here's a little tip that not many people know. Magnesium works even better when paired with hydration. So if you're taking magnesium, make sure you're drinking enough water. Not soda, not sugary drinks, just plain clean water. It helps your body transport that magnesium right where it needs to go. I'll be honest with you. Magnesium isn't a magic pill. It won't cure arthritis overnight. But it will support your body in managing pain, calming inflammation, and giving you more of those good days where your joints feel looser, lighter, and just more you. Because at the end of the day, 
Arthritis isn't just about pain. It's about the freedom to move, to reach up without flinching, to walk without wincing, to live without your joints dictating the quality of your day. And magnesium? It's one of the quiet tools in your toolbox that can help you get there. So if you're not already giving your body enough of this mineral, now is the time to start. Whether it's through food, a supplement, or even a warm Epsom salt bath, your joints will thank you. You deserve to feel better. You deserve to move freely. And sometimes, that starts with something as simple and powerful as magnesium. Number 2. Zinc, the Joint Protector Let's talk about zinc, another unsung hero in the fight against arthritis. When we think about minerals, zinc might not be the first one that comes to mind. But for anyone struggling with joint pain or inflammation, it absolutely should be. Zinc is like your body's handyman. It's constantly repairing, rebuilding, and reinforcing everything from your immune system to your joint tissue. If you have arthritis, especially autoimmune types like rheumatoid arthritis, your body is often in a state of breakdown. Inflammation is attacking your joints. Cartilage is wearing down. Your immune system is quite literally confused. And zinc? Zinc steps in and helps correct the confusion. One of zinc's superpowers is that it helps regulate the immune response. For people with autoimmune arthritis, this is a game changer. It tells the immune system, hey, that joint isn't your enemy, back off. It calms things down so your body doesn't stay stuck in attack mode. But there's more. Zinc is deeply involved in collagen production. Now, why does that matter? Because collagen is a key building block of your cartilage, the stuff that cushions your joints and allows them to move smoothly without grinding or pain. When zinc levels are low, your body can't repair damaged cartilage as effectively, and that leads to more pain, more stiffness, and less movement. Now here's something really important. People with arthritis often have lower zinc levels than the general population. And get this, the inflammation itself can actually deplete zinc in your body. It's a vicious cycle. You need zinc to fight the inflammation, but the inflammation is using up your zinc. That's why restoring those levels is so important. Let's talk food, because I know some of you prefer to go the natural route. Pumpkin seeds are one of the best plant-based sources of zinc. Just a handful a day can make a difference. Chickpeas are also great, as are cashews and lentils. If you eat animal products, oysters are the highest in zinc, followed by beef, turkey, and eggs. But if you're not getting enough through diet, or if your body has a hard time absorbing nutrients, you might want to look into a zinc supplement. Now. Not all zinc is created equal. Look for zinc picolinate or zinc gluconate. These forms are more bioavailable, meaning your body can actually use them. And here's a little pro tip. Don't take zinc on an empty stomach. It can make you feel nauseous. Take it with a meal, and ideally, not at the same time as a high calcium supplement, since calcium can compete with zinc for absorption. Now you might be wondering, how long does it take to feel the benefits? Well, like most natural remedies, zinc works steadily. You might start noticing small changes within a few weeks, maybe less morning stiffness, maybe more energy. But the real magic happens over time. With consistent intake, zinc helps protect your joints from further damage, while also promoting healing in the tissues that are already inflamed or breaking down. And let's not forget, zinc is also crucial for wound healing. Think of all the micro tears and tissue damage happening inside an inflamed joint. You can't see them, but they're there. Zinc helps repair that internal damage and strengthen your body's natural defense system, which means fewer flare-ups and more control over your arthritis. One more thing, zinc also helps with gut health, which is a major factor in inflammation. A healthy gut can help reduce systemic inflammation, 
which is exactly what you want when you're managing arthritis. So when you're taking zinc, you're not just helping your joints, you're supporting your whole system. Now I'm not going to tell you that zinc is a cure-all, because it's not. But what it is, is a powerful ally. It supports your immune system, reduces inflammation, helps rebuild cartilage, and protects your joints from further wear and tear. That's a big deal when you're trying to get your life back from arthritis. So if you've never thought about zinc as part of your arthritis fighting routine, now's the time to start. A small change today could lead to less pain, more movement, and more control over how you feel tomorrow. Your joints are asking for help, and zinc just might be the answer they've been waiting for. Number three, boron, the underrated bone and joint healer. Okay, now this one might surprise you because we're diving into a mineral that hardly anyone talks about. It's not flashy. You won't hear about it in most doctor's offices, but if you're dealing with arthritis or even just stiff, achy joints, you need to know about boron. Yes, boron. It might sound like something out of a chemistry class, but don't let the name fool you. This little-known mineral can make a big difference when it comes to joint pain and bone health. So what exactly does boron do? Well, boron plays a crucial role in keeping your bones strong and your joints flexible. Think of it like a connector or a helper. It doesn't just do one job. Instead, it supports the minerals and hormones that do the heavy lifting when it comes to reducing inflammation and building strong bones. It helps your body hold on to magnesium, calcium, and vitamin D, which, as you might know by now, are all vital for managing arthritis. And here's something really interesting. Boron has actually been shown to reduce the enzymes that trigger inflammation in arthritic joints. That means less swelling, less stiffness, and less of that frustrating, grinding pain that makes everyday movement such a challenge. In fact, in some studies, boron supplementation has been linked to a noticeable reduction in arthritis symptoms, especially in people who weren't getting enough of it to begin with. And considering most of us are not getting enough boron in our diets, that's a big deal. But how does boron do all this? Let's break it down. First, it helps your bones by improving calcium metabolism. In simple terms, boron makes sure the calcium you're taking in actually ends up in your bones, not in your arteries or joints where it doesn't belong. That's super important for people with arthritis, especially those dealing with bone loss or joint degeneration. Second, boron has a surprising effect on hormones. For both men and women, Boron helps balance estrogen and testosterone levels, two hormones that play a role in bone health and joint protection. For women going through menopause or postmenopause, when estrogen drops and arthritis risk rises, boron might offer a little extra support when your body needs it most. Now here's a little aha moment. Boron isn't just for your bones and joints. It's also been shown to support cognitive function and reduce oxidative stress. And what is oxidative stress? It's basically a fancy term for the kind of wear and tear that builds up in your cells over time and leads to chronic inflammation. So by reducing that stress, boron helps your entire system calm down, and that means less inflammation, less pain, and more freedom to move. Now, let's talk about how to get it into your body. You won't find boron listed on most supplement labels, and you're probably not hearing about it on health commercials. But boron is naturally found in whole plant foods, especially fruits and nuts. Some of the best sources, prunes, raisins, apples, pears, dates, almonds, and dried apricots. If you enjoy a handful of dried fruit as a snack or sprinkle some chopped fruit into your oatmeal or salad, you're already on the right track. That said, if you're really looking to target arthritis symptoms, a boron supplement might be worth considering, especially if you're already taking magnesium or vitamin D. 
Boron helps those minerals work more effectively, so combining them can give you more noticeable results. For supplements, the typical dose is small, just around 3 to 6 milligrams a day. That's all most people need to start seeing benefits. As always, check with a healthcare professional if you're thinking about adding a new supplement, especially if you're on medications or managing other health issues. And here's one more fun fact. Some of the original research on boron's benefits came from places where people naturally had more boron in their soil and water. And guess what? Those populations had lower rates of arthritis. It's not a coincidence. Boron matters. Now let's be real. Boron isn't going to make you feel like you're 25 again. But when it's combined with a healthy anti-inflammatory lifestyle, the difference can be powerful. We're talking about less stiffness when you wake up, easier movement throughout the day, and better protection for your bones long term. Because arthritis isn't just about pain. It's about what the pain takes from you, your hobbies, your energy, your ability to enjoy simple things like walking, cooking, gardening, or playing with your grandkids and boron. It's one of those subtle but strong tools that can help you reclaim those moments. It's gentle, natural, and often overlooked. But when used correctly, Boron becomes a quiet partner in your healing journey. So, if you've tried the big-name supplements, the trendy treatments, and you're still feeling stuck, don't underestimate the small players like Boron. Sometimes, the biggest relief comes from the smallest changes. Start simple. Add a few boron-rich foods to your meals. Consider a low-dose supplement. And just see what happens. Give your body the support it needs, and it just might surprise you. You are not stuck with pain forever. Healing is possible. And boron might just be the missing piece your joints have been waiting for. Summary. All right. Let's quickly recap what we've covered today. We talked about magnesium, the calming mineral that helps relax your muscles, reduce inflammation, and even improve your sleep, something we all need more of, especially when our joints are aching. Then we explored zinc, the powerful immune system supporter that not only protects your joints, but also helps rebuild cartilage and repair damaged tissue from the inside out. And finally, we shined a light on boron, the underrated bone and joint healer that helps your body absorb other minerals better, balances your hormones, and gives your joints that much-needed support to keep moving freely. Now, no one's saying these minerals are magic bullets, but what they are is part of a bigger, natural solution, one that supports your body's healing process and helps you take small, meaningful steps toward less pain and more freedom. Because arthritis doesn't define you, and you don't have to just live with it. You can fight back gently, naturally, and intelligently, starting with what you nourish your body with. So if you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone you care about. And let me know in the comments, which mineral are you most excited to try first? And hey, remember this, your healing journey isn't about perfection. It's about progress. And today, you made progress. Keep going. I'm cheering for you every step of the way. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.